All right, doers. All right, doers. You got my attention. You got my attention. The allegations I am levying towards YouTube are extremely serious, and I'm taking this video extremely seriously. Before we get into this shit, you know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. Turn the post notification on the comment you want to see me do next. The doers have brought this to my attention, but I have absolutely no idea what's about to go on right now. All I know is YouTube racism and favoritism. YouTube. You guys either play favorites, mm -hmm. you are racist, mm -hmm. or it's a mix of the two. Okay. These are the three options, YouTube. All right. I Which one is you. it? Here's my proof. I've been doing YouTube a long time, okay? I never want to be that guy, oh, it's because I'm black. Oh, these issues are happening because I'm black. There have been certain situations that I looked at kind of funny. I said, hmm, it could be because of that, but nah, I ain't going to. I'm not trying to press that. I don't want to build that narrative around my, my YouTube channel. This time, I can yes, no longer let it slide. Million, so. This is the situation. August 18th, I uploaded The Mortuary Assistant. A lot of you would know it got age restricted because the following video I did, I let you guys know it got age restricted. YouTube didn't tell me why. I saw that all these other YouTubers were playing the Mortuary Assistant and only my video seemed to be age restricted. And I looked for like an hour, two hours. I was scrolling all different types of people's video. No one else's was age restricted. So I appealed the restriction. Um, hey guys, I... I'm not sure why mine got age restricted. Could you look into this? Appeal rejected. They doubled down. The policy team said, no, Corey, your video is restricted for good reason. We're not going to tell you why, but it's restricted. That's our final decision. I said, hmm, okay. I get with my YouTube rep. I send him an email. Hey, could you look at this? This is some weird stuff going on. Only my video got age restricted. My YouTube rep, who isn't on the policy team, he looked at my video and he said, Hey, it could possibly be this part at the end where the woman was battling some depression and I'm just going to leave it there. Lest this video also get age restricted just because I'm talking about it. So I looked at that part. The first thing I did was try to find other YouTubers who had that part or at least a part similar. Now Markiplier, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I just want you to know I have a lot of respect for you and I didn't mean to drag you into the middle of this. Your channel just has, happens to be a great reference point because A, you're a really big YouTuber and B, you're not black. So I can look at your channel and then I can look at my channel or look at anyone else's channel and make sure that the things and the games that you play, all that they're enforcing the rules equally to everybody. So I go to Markiplier's Mortuary Assistant part three and he had the same situation going on and his video wasn't age restricted. So I send the video to my YouTube rep. I say, hey, um, Markiplier has this situation in his video, but his isn't age restricted. Could you send that to the policy team and see what they say about that? He said, wow, Corey, uh, that's some astute detective work. Let me uh, send this to them and see what they say. What do you think happened after that? I'll give you a second. He quit. He got fired. They came back he and they removed my age restriction. They took it off after they already. Oh, I was motherfucking wrong as a motherfucker. He rejected my appeal. I sent them the clip of Markiplier's video that has the same thing and they removed it. Now, my YouTube rep, he was excited. He was, oh, great. This is awesome. Look, Corey, they took the age restriction off. I said, why? I expected them to triple down and give Markiplier an age restriction too. But they looked at Mark's video and they used that to verify my innocence. So I send my YouTube rep a lengthy email. Yo, my guy here. So correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the situation. YouTube reversed the decision they doubled down on yesterday after being presented by Mark. Markiplier clip. <clears throat> I'm actually more surprised they reverse it rather than triple down and just the age respect to him too. This is actually um, this actually speaks volumes more. All the momentum of the first video has been voided for nothing now. Before I drop an exposed video tomorrow with evidence that has been presented to me, I'm hoping for some clarity that might make sense in a way to dissuade me from getting ready to stir this pot further. Can you inquire why they changed their mind or who made the decision to reinforce the age of 16 yesterday 
as well as the reasoning for doing so. Also, why these incidents always coincide with me trending number one multiple days in a row. <clears throat> I felt treatment towards me from YouTube, especially when I've been number one trending multiple days in a row on multiple occasions, has been negative and that my content is scrutinized heavier than a counterpart like Markiplier. I'm sorry, his name is just fucking weird. This case proves exactly that actually. Why why wasn't his video monitored the moment he released it to check if it violated self-harm guidelines? I've had a suspicion my content gets targeted to press and YouTube will make any attempt they can to kill channel momentum. And this case more than anything has happened. So so far proves that while I would hope race would have nothing to do with it, I hope how how can it be proven a hundred percent? It does not, Corey. Damn, Corey got his foot on YouTube's neck. I didn't even know you could do shit like this. Yo, this was on my birthday. At 8.45. You know I live in the 8.45. Nah, this is the sign. Is YouTube being racist to me, dog? I feel like YouTube being racist, yo. Because how do I not have 100,000 subscribers yet? How do I have four thousand uh subscribers, but I'm but I'm getting a hundred thousand um subscribe of uh, uh views a month, and I don't have a hundred thousand subscribers? How is that possible? Nah, some ain't right. Some not right. Email detailing <laughs> my feelings about the the entire situation, feeling like there was some favoritism at play there was either that or some racism at right, play right, and right, that i right. would like to sit down with the policy team and figure out why my video was flagged in the first place this kid right here is going to pioneer his way for black people on youtube they're going to open up those racist gates that they've been holding back on all the black beautiful youtubers like me and, and like myself and this guy here um and you know they're just gonna like you know let us win and you know give us money and stuff that we just don't even fucking deserve so go ahead brother do your fucking thing actually number one was it automated or was it a human that age restricted in in the first place mm. number two who was the human reviewer because it's a human reviewer once you send submit an appeal mm -hmm. who was the human reviewer mm -hmm. that doubled down and rejected my appeal number three why did it take Markiplier's clip in order for them to reverse the decision? My YouTube rep gets back with me. He wants to hop on a call. We get on the phone um, for about 10, 15 minutes, and I tell him, I've been feeling like this for a long time. I've been feeling like every single time that I come back to YouTube, I'm number one trending for a few days, and then they find some arbitrary issue. What the hell does he even fucking do that he's number one trending on YouTube? How do I go number one trending on YouTube? Make this video the number one trending video on YouTube. Issue. They nitpick and they try and find something that they can incriminate me for and try to push me down. You don't believe me? What happened the last time I came back and I was number one trending for like a week? They copyright strike me for a video that was in 2019 or something like that. Why don't these issues ever crop up when I'm not uploading? I mean, I I'm not on YouTube like nine months out of the year. Nothing ever happens until I come back and I start uploading again and I'm getting my numbers, they're climbing, they're exploding, I'm number one trending, and then they're like, hey, we need to stop him. We need to, hey, this black man, he's getting too many views, he's, he's getting too much exposure, too much activity. Hold that thought. Let's get back to the current situation. So my YouTube rep assures me he's going to continue this dialogue with the policy team and try to get some answers to those three questions that I had. So another day, another two. This is like school for me because, you know, I'm new to YouTube and shit like that. i work. I'm new to YouTube and shit like that. And it's like, I really don't even focus. I get copyright all the time. I'd be like, well, I guess it's because somebody, it's somebody's song the label or whatever the case may be so you know i'm not, i don't really look at shit but now i'm looking at how youtube could try to play and now a person like me i'm just gonna like take this information and and use it to go around the bullshit that goes on you know two days go by and what do you know they re-age restricted the video <laughs> they re-age restricted the video I say, no way did they do that. I go to Markiplier's video now, and now his video is age-restricted. 
they got caught with their pants down. They got called out and then they had to go back and say, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we see the narrative that he's kind of pushing here. We need to take some steps back. We need to just age restrict them both and be done with it. You thought that this kid got receipts. This yo, nah, nah. And this is yeah. I said, let's see what they do with his YouTube channel after this video. I wasn't gonna like talk about this, make a video about it. You realize how bad this looks for you, YouTube. You realize how unfair this comes across. I. In all my years, have never seen a video get age restricted, de age restricted, and then age restricted again. Have have any of you ever seen that happen before? They saw that I saw that there was some unfair stuff going on. So then they tried to appease me by de age restricting the video. I say, wait, why are you doing that? Because I sent Markiplier's clip. And then they say, oh, okay, well, let's just age restrict them both. Why is my channel so much more heavily scrutinized than my peers? My peers, and when I say peers, I mean people around my level, around my view count, just to keep it simple. Why is my channel so much more thoroughly scrutinized? Especially so when I've been number one trending multiple days in a row, which I've done multiple times. And every single time I start to get an uptick in traction, an uptick in activity, you, here comes YouTube coming through. Hey, um, uh, 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 let's get him for that video from 2019. Yeah, you, you see this, Corey? No, this is bad. It wasn't bad the nine months that I was off the platform. It was only bad when I got back and I was number one trending. This situation was only bad because I've been number one trending since I got back. Every other YouTuber has uploaded the Mortuary Assistant. And now they're about to start putting in some age restrictions. I'm finna fucking, yo, go send me the link to that shit. Restrictions because I called them out on some unfair behavior. Now I realize that when you call someone a racist, that's a very, very serious accusation. And for that matter, how do you expressly prove that someone is a racist? I mean, unless they're spamming the N-word in the chat. How, how do you really know? And admittedly, I cannot 100% prove that race had everything to do with this. But I can tell you the people on that policy team, those shadow people that are anonymous and get to enact their will however they see fit, how can we be sure that they take a black person's video and a white person's video and it can be the same exact video and they restrict the black person's video but not the white person's video i feel i've been mistreated for a long time i mean even when we hit 10 million subscribers and i was supposed to get my diamond plate i'm gonna start copying bob and lamb's videos and seeing what they do about it button and no one there was no correspondence these situations always coincide with an uptick of growth and it always just comes off like we can't let this black guy get too high up i mean if i'm wrong i'm wrong i'm telling you that's how it comes off i don't see any other youtuber that gets number one trending many times and then all of a sudden they're getting age restricted and they're getting copyright strikes and all of that. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Point them out. I want to see them. I'll retract this entire point video. Out, I'll out. make a public apology to YouTube. I have no problem. My dad taught me if you make a mistake, be a man and address it and apologize. I will do that. No problem. But to me, you know what it comes off? It comes off whenever Corey Kenshin starts doing some crazy numbers or, or getting on trending too much, we got to find something. We got to get him for something. It's gotta, he's got to have done something. I mean, I bleep out cuss words in video games. Like, I, I literally... This is, the, this is the YouTuber that you want to have smoke with and have problems with. I believe there is some racism involved within the policy team. It sounds like racism, honestly, like... It really don't sound like actually anything else at all, literally. He caught them right here, and that's that's what a that's what a racist person would do. You know what I mean? Like, like that's exactly what they would do. You know what I mean? Instead of just you know 
explaining themselves and just basically being like, yeah, you know, we have something worked out with this guy or, you know, they probably called the other, the other YouTuber and was like, Hey, yeah, sorry. There's nothing we can do about this. Uh, we got to restrict you. He's on to us type of thing. Like it's, it's fuck you too. And if you do something about it, we're just going to shut you down. Like, you know, when you have power, you don't have to explain yourself, but you, you, you could, for the most part, cover your tracks and keep it pushing. And that's YouTube. And YouTube in general really doesn't care about black people like that. Um, they got their favorite creators. You know, log out of YouTube. Log out and go to YouTube. You'll see the people on the front page every single day. You'll see the favorites. Count how many are black. Count how many are of people of color. So then what does YouTube try and do? They try and peddle YouTube black. They try and give us a spotlight and... Do you know how condescending and patronizing that is? Oh, yeah, let's give a spotlight to these black creators because we're all about diversity. All this communicates is black people aren't good enough on their own skill, on their own merits, on their own talent. So we got to give them a spotlight. We got to come down and raise them up so they can get some spotlight action. Well, how about you save all that YouTube <laughs> black, all that fake patronage, all that fake pandering that you guys do? And when you have a black creator coming to you repeatedly saying, why am I being treated differently than other creators? And Answer then you him. come back and, oh, we got to de age restricted. And then, oh, no, we got to, we got to, he's on to us. Okay, we got to age restrict them both. Fake. It's fake. That's what it is. I am deeply sorry that this came off as a rant. You know, in the beginning, I wanted to keep my emotions out of it. I wanted to stay logical, stay on the things that I could prove. I gave you the facts, but it also turned into me venting the emotions that I've had built up around YouTube. Ironic that I have to upload this on YouTube, but where else am I gonna upload it? Mm. You know, I worked hard, I, I built this community from the ground, it's taken me over a decade to do. And I would have just hoped that the playing field was fair and that, hey, if I did something bad, then everybody else who also did that thing should get punished too. Is that unreasonable? I have no problem being punished. I have no problem if I break a rule that I get punished for it and I learn. But when you start, like, when it's targeted, when you're doing things only because I'm, like, getting bigger or I don't know how it always seems to coincide with that situation. But that's just what it is. Now, if my YouTube channel gets shadow banned or they, like, you know, they start, like, not sending my videos out to my subscribers or, or you know, a couple months from now, y'all just stop seeing my videos, we know why. We know why. I mean... Those shadows behind the scenes, they control it all. They control all of it. If they don't want, if they don't want my channel, they could terminate it right now. They could hide my videos. They could shadow ban me, not send my videos out to anybody. That's why I thought long and hard before I recorded this, but as one of the biggest black creators on the platform, I want you to hear it from my mouth. Ooh that there is some shady business going on behind the scenes at YouTube. Yo, this right here is a legendary I'm gonna try. Video. This is legendary right here. Like, this man just came up here, put his platform on the line to let us know that there's some, there's some, there's some whole shit going on. This Corey guy here, I had no idea. I thought he was gonna describe the difference between racism and favoritism. Now, I see he's describing that there's racism and favoritism going on on YouTube. So we're just going to hope that those devils don't come with new levels when it comes to a God and the doers, you know what I'm saying? Now we know how to pivot and know what to watch for. Hopefully he opened up the gate. Or hopefully he didn't piss nobody the fuck off. Because you're right, man. When you're a shadow, you know, when you're a shadow, you know, like when you're, a shadow you're unstoppable. You know. So anyway, yeah. I had to hit Corey with that follow. Thanks for the information, Corey. Appreciate that and all the and all the Corey fans.
This video was immediately flagged for ad suitability. I wonder why. Surely why it isn't because it's YouTube being shown in poor light. Surely not. Oh. So I've been asking about this recently and always getting attacked for trying to victimize myself and videos that disprove everything I've been fighting against. If someone this size can go through something like this still, there is definitely a problem. Sorry, you got to go through this, OG. Or you wanted this video. If they if they take this video down, boom, you have proof of their racism and favoritism. I've always felt that there's favoritism involved. The trending page, for instance, is curated by human beings, not AI. There's too much human manipulation involved. I hope you get to the bottom of this. Oh, everybody's on to YouTube. Everybody is on to YouTube. Yo, shout out Corey. Now we know what happens if they take this video down from Corey. And if they take the video down from Corey, the video is right up here with Agon. I know what time it is. This is a guy reacting to Corey. This is a guy reacts to YouTube racism and favoritism. Before you get out of here, you know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button, turn the post notification on, comment what you want to see us do next. Make sure y'all come fuck with us on the Twitch too. You know, we got a lot of shit going on on the Twitch. We do all the reaction videos on Twitch because of the shit that I've noticed YouTube was doing when I first started reacting. So, yeah, come meet us over there. Say, got him out.